I made a commitment to him. I said, you know what? Okay, if you're asking me to not compare you to Michael Jordan, I will not. But if he is not MJ, who is he, Michael Wilbur? He ain't asked me that. <laughs> and if he did, I would not make that promise anyway. You know, look, I, I covered the whole of Michael Jordan's career. Though that interview, Malika, the answers are so honest. He has got such a natural charisma. They're just honest. There's no put on. There's no agenda. And I'm sorry, he reminds me of Michael Jeffrey Jordan. And you know what else? He reminds Michael Jordan of Michael Jordan. And Kobe Bryant, to be fair, both. And it, you know, the whole thing about the tray ball, <laughs> that was so much like Kobe, a young Kobe, yes. who would say after a game to me at times, could the old man have guarded me tonight? You think he would? Let's call him. Mm. Let's ask him. And that speaks to the admiration, right? and a natural charisma, but an honesty in feeling, yeah, I'm the best, but I'm gonna prove this. There's an interview we can go back and get a long time ago that I did with Michael on the morning of his induction into the Hall of Fame, where I asked him if it was important for him to be known as the greatest player ever, and he said it was important not to. He was never gonna say that and disrespect Russell and Mad Magic and Bird, and I think he included Julia Serving in that group. And Anthony Edwards has a, he knows he feels he's the best player, but he's not about, I'm a boast. He gave his props right then to, to, to Joker. And all of that reminds me, but there's one thing that, that reminds me most of all, it's the ruthlessness mm. that which Anthony Edwards plays. And that ruthlessness is characteristic of who? Mm. Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan. Perk knows, because he had to go against in prime Kobe in that way, and it's that ruthlessness which now characterizes Minnesota. People want to talk about the difference between Minnesota last year and this year. Anthony Edwards and that, that characterizes that whole team. Game two was played with a ruthlessness. His personality was thrust onto the Denver Nuggets and they were like, oh my God, we'll see if it comes to play tonight. But all of that reminds me of 23 and red. And I know, look, we can't get carried away with that comparison. Right. It's unfair to each man. Yeah, he didn't want anything sure. yet. He didn't want anything. But I'm talking about the, the, the personality and the early signs. They do. When we ask who's the next MJ, we're asking who's going to carry the mantle, who's going to carry the torch. He is going to carry the torch. Yeah, I'm gonna